uh, mm -hmm. uh, thank God for the privilege that we, we enjoy when it comes to the word of God. So many of you have been asking about the posts that I've been making about the actual ministry school, the school of wisdom and what it is, is a ministry school. And uh, I, I am going to be sharing some information tonight that will give you uh, a kind of insight on what this is. And uh, certainly if you're interested, we'll be able to send you uh, to your email address, a personal brochure that you might download and read through the information and understand on your own terms, in your own time, what this is all about. And so uh, I'm gonna walk you through uh, just a little bit of the information that I want to share with you tonight. And, uh, and you can share it and go back and look at it at your leisure uh, when you get time. So uh, I praise God for that privilege because uh, a lot of times we're in settings where we don't get to uh, look at the word of God and, and study it and uh, reference it where we can uh, understand it. Like the Bible say, in all that getting, get understanding. I'm going to spread this over the whole screen so uh, you can get the gist of it without all of the interruptions. And so uh, it's the Bishop Andre S. Woods uh, School of Wisdom. There, there is the cover. Uh, you'll be able to see it on your screen. Bishop Andre S. Woods School of Wisdom. Uh, and our foundational scripture is, uh, of course, Proverbs chapter 4 and verse number 7. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse number 7. And my caption, wisdom is the principal thing. And of course, uh, that whole verse says, uh, and all that getting, when you get wisdom, get understanding. And so those of you that saw my live not long ago, uh, I did uh, a kind of excerpt on Acts chapter number eight, the story of Philip the evangelist and the uh, Ethiopian eunuch when he was traveling and the Holy Spirit told Philip to go south. And uh, he met up with the uh, Ethiopian eunuch in his chariot and certainly uh, the Holy Spirit nudged him and had him at the right place at the right time and told him to go over to uh, the eunuch. And of course, he was reading the scriptures from the prophet Isaiah. He had the scroll and was reading. And uh, Philip asked him, understand it what thou readest? And he answered, no, I have no man to uh, really explain it to me. And I'm saying that in, in this scripture that a lot of times, uh, those of you who are Bible students, you run across scriptures that you need in-depth understanding and revelation on. That's why we've got teachers and tutors and we've got people, your pastor, your Sunday school teacher, those who are versed in Bible revelation and understand of the word of God and have experience, have studied. Now they've studied to show themselves approved unto God that they might rightly divide the word of truth. And then again, we back up to 2 Timothy 2 and 2. When you get it, now that you have it, the things, Paul says, that you have learned of me or heard of me among many witnesses, the same thing, don't change it, don't add, don't take away. The same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. So that's where we are, my brothers and sisters. We, we are in that place where uh, the Lord has moved upon me and, and just all of the knowledge I've gained over these years and uh, the schools, the, the seminars, uh, all of the fasting, the praying, the studying, the research, and the personal life experiences. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to capture all of that along 
with Bible study in a nutshell to bring a comprehensive, accelerated uh, a school where you can get all of what I've got over these years. Uh, I wanted to put it into writings and forms where it will be a teaching manual to uh, give you an idea of how in-depth it is and how important that we do study. Because the last thing we need is more ignorant apostles. We don't need another fake false prophet. We got enough. All right, we, we, we got enough. The Lord Jesus says that in Matthew 7, you know, here they come. Uh, raven wolves in sheep clothing. And then they got the nerve and, and the mitigated gall to say, well, have not we uh, cast out devils? Have not we prophesied and healed in your name? He said, yeah, you did all that, but I don't know you. You know, friends, let me tell you something. People of God, let me tell you something. The worst fool in the world is an educated fool or a fool that's just a fool. And uh, when a man or a woman cannot admit what they don't know, that's showing their ignorance. None of us have it all. None of us know God that well or that much that we have a monopoly on wisdom and knowledge. Just my brothers and sisters, when you get it, get understanding with it. I say it like this, the information that God sends ought to be revelation at some point where you understand the information you got. Some of you are so informed. You got information at your fingertips, but you don't know what to do with it. You don't know how to dissimulate it. You don't know how to apply it. And ultimately application is the key for learning. That, that was the whole purpose, to learn what to do. So when it comes time to do, you'll be in full knowledge of how to handle yourself and the word of God properly. And so for that cause, wisdom is the principal thing, according to Proverbs chapter four, verse seven. And uh, uh, here is in the brochure, you'll get to learn a little bit about me and uh, my ministry uh, as the founder of, of this school. Uh, I've been duly consecrated as a bishop in the Lord's church and um, uh, I've been blessed uh, to found this great school of wisdom. It's a God-given vision that now has become a reality after much prayer and fasting. And so this school of wisdom is a result of 40 plus years of ministry experience, you know, as a Sunday school teacher, a youth pastor, a minister of music, a new member class instructor. I was my grandfather's assistant pastor for years. Then I pastored for about uh, 20 years. Uh, I started the church. The Lord blessed me to do that, Revival Tabernacle Church of Christ. And then when I became a bishop, I became, the church became the cathedral, heirs of the Promised Cathedral, right here in the city of Detroit, Michigan. I was the dean of the College of Bishops of the True Vine, Pentecostal Holiness Churches of Deliverance, uh, headquartered in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Uh, I've been blessed to be mentor, counselor, spiritual advisor, and then uh, founder and visionary of the Interdenominational inter Assembly of Churches, USA, established in 2003. 2003, we started that. And then uh, my education, Wayne County Community College, Wayne State University, William Tyndale Bible College, Pastoral Studies, North Park University, Strategic Management, Nonprofits, Tennessee School of Religion, Doctor of Divinity, and then also so many seminars and teaching, of course, the University of Hard Knocks and research and study continuously in the Word of God, of course, all guided under the auspices of the Holy Spirit himself to teach and to lead and guide me all of the way. And then, of course, I've been blessed in my life the late Bishop John Thomas Kerr, who was my father, grandfather, father in the ministry, my pastor, my mentor, my leader, my teacher, uh, along with him, my, my, my wonderful grandmother, Evangelist Callie Kerr, and uh, my mother, Evangelist Gloria May Woods, uh, people like uh, Reverend Ralph J. Ford, 
the late Bishop Otis Floyd. I mean, the late Reverend Charles H. Nix. And of course, my apostle who ordained me into the bishopric, Apostle Sylvester Davis Johnson, who is the apostle of the United Pentecostal Holiness Churches and uh, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So I've been blessed over the years, divinely inspired by the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, I come now drawing from my spiritual roots of intense research, study, preaching, and teaching as a prophetic voice uh, to the nations. And so now God has blessed me thus, the Bishop Andreas Woods School of Wisdom is birthed on February 4th, 2022. So I, I want to encourage you, uh, those of you that may be interested, prepare to increase your knowledge and your experience and spiritual growth through a comprehensive, systematic study of the Word of God. And of course, to God be the glory for all He has done. And then in the brochure, you'll find our mission statement. Bishop Andreas Woods is a private school designed to teach fundamental biblical spiritual truths. Bishop Andreas Woods School of Wisdom seeks to help a student strike a balance between the mind, heart, and body because wisdom is not about knowing more, but knowing with all dimensions of the mind, heart, and body. This balanced rhythm between these three modes of learning facilitates the possibility of transformation. My brothers and sisters, information to revelation and ultimately to change your thinking, transformation uh, ought to take place when you come in relationship and in contact with the infallible truths of the word of God. Now, here is uh, the 12 week course that's designed uh, as an icebreaker for you. Uh, our curriculum will begin with what is wisdom. We'll have a study about that. The next piece will be wisdom and how to get it. We will explore through biblical references what God says about wisdom and why wisdom is so important uh, to us in this hour. Uh, ignorance, listen, there's, there is no reason for individuals to stay in the shape that they're in when it comes to understanding God's word. Uh, we have the word of God. Uh, we read Bible, but just like the eunuch, just like that Ethiopian eunuch, there are so many who got every translation of the Bible to kind of help them, but there's still the missing piece of authentic uh, revelation to bring transformation in our thinking. So after we study what is wisdom, that's a required piece before we can go into any particular subject. We need to understand what wisdom is and wisdom and how to get it. And then we go, we move to the fivefold ministries. Why, why, why am I going to be teaching on the fivefold ministries? Well, I need to tell you this because it's the fivefold ministries. Go back to Ephesians chapter four and read the purpose in which God allowed Christ to send the fivefold ministry gifts. It's to aid us, the apostle, the prophet, the pastor, the evangelist, the teacher. They're there for the equipping of the saints, huh? Uh, uh, to arm you, to teach you, to prepare you for ministry, uh -huh, for the work of the ministry. And so you notice that they're all there as a group, apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, and evangelists. And he said, I gave some. So uh, uh, there are those in the body of Christ and we'll get that in our study that uh, walk in the office of apostle, walk in the office of the prophet. You're going to be studying that you can be prophetic, but not walk in the office of the prophet. You're going to understand the difference between Old Testament prophecy and New Testament prophecy, the purpose of it. And uh, you, you want to know whether or not you're prophetic and at all. Uh, uh, we, we're going to study that. We're going to help you look in the word of God to bring clarity to some things. 
And then we're going to talk about the pastor. We're going to talk about the teacher and talk about the value of the evangelist. All right. And then here's a bonus piece that I feel is very necessary because it gets messed up. Understanding spiritual truth. Understanding spiritual truth. You know, and uh, the reason why we're going to study that because a lot of times people get mixed up on their own decided truths as opposed to the truth of the word of God, the spiritual truth. The flesh cannot discern the things of the spirit. Only the spirit. You've got to be spiritually minded in order to understand spiritual things. And we're going to talk about that. And a lot of people need to get that distinction right while they're trying to fly off the hip or talk from off the top of their head. They, they mouth fly open and they just go to talking. No, 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 no. These things must be spiritually discerned. Y'all hear what I'm saying? They must be spiritually discerned. And before you open your mouth and start talking about spiritual things, you, you must understand it yourself first. It's like the blind are leading the blind uh, 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 on here on Facebook and, and a whole lot of other places. The blind are leading the blind. And, the, and you know, if the blind leading the blind, the blind they, they both will end up in the ditch. And so uh, we, wanna, we want to discover what spiritual truth is and what spiritual truth is not. Let me throw this in for free. I was born and raised in what is dubbed as the spiritual church. And, 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 and let me help you understand the spiritual church. We're not spiritual less, spiritual. And may I, may I suggest to all of you that every church ought to be a deliverance church, a healing church, huh? and a spiritual church. For the flesh is enmity against the spirit and 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 do your own research if you will but we're going to talk about how many times the word of god mentions walking in the spirit praying in the spirit all of what we do for god is attached to our spirituality huh so we're going to study that in depth i don't want to start teaching it now but we're going to go through that now our sessions will be uh, approximately 90 minutes long at, for 12 weeks to cover just those basics. And uh, each course will examine the office given by given to the church by the Lord Jesus Christ as spiritual gifts to the body. And we're going to put special emphasis on the definition of each office with scriptorial references the qualifications of each of the fivefold ministry gifts, the purpose of each gift, how the gifts work together. I, I, I want to do that because, <laughs> excuse me, there are too many times I'm, I'm watching too much competitiveness and too much anxiety over insecurities and and too much competition when it comes to apostles, prophets, pastors, all, all of the fivefold ministries. We are not in competition with one another. We are to work together. We're going to talk about that. We're going to study that thoroughly because we want to get an understanding. And just because you are an anointed apostle or prophet, does not mean that you got a monopoly on the anointing. Oh, yeah. Well, we, we're going to talk about that. I'm going to stop right there. Then we're going to talk about uh, uh, how to protect the anointing and the gift. A lot of people need to learn that. A lot, Because a lot of folk have started out good. I mean, you, you are anointed. Yeah, you started out well. But something happened somewhere. We got to get rid of the pride. We got to get rid of the haughtiness. We got all of that. We got to get rid of the arrogance and we've got to build character. You, If you're going to walk in these offices or just be in ministry period, 
you must be a man and woman of integrity and of good character. Now, I, I'm going to leave that right there, but we're going to study that. Then we're going to study spiritual growth and maturity by the study of the Word of God and so much, so much more that we're going to be able to study. Now, uh, the initial uh, consultation and orientation will take place. And uh, if you want to get this information, just email me uh, uh, at Woods. Uh, wisdom school at gmail.com is very simple woods w-o-o-d-s wisdom school at gmail.com i'm going to pull that up uh in just a moment where you will see it and uh you have it there on the screen it's right there at the bottom there where you can i, I think you can see it i'm not sure uh on your on the screen yeah you can see it Woods Wisdom School at gmail.com. All right, so uh, there, there is a tuition, and I want you to get the brochure so you can read over it. Um, and it will include all of your study materials prepared personally by me and forwarded to you uh, prior to your class session by email. So you must get you an email if you don't have one so that we can communicate directly. And uh, weekly class sessions will be via Zoom right now. And that is so we can include those of you in other places around the world, around the country, and even in, in the city of Detroit and around the state of Michigan. If you care to attend, you'll be able to do it from the comfort of your home. It's like an online course for a regular college or school. Okay, so we will be virtual. Access to me, access to Bishop Woods by scheduled phone appointments or Zoom conference uh, appointment. In other words, what I'm going to do, I'm going to avail myself for other times over and beyond the class session. Because at every class session, we will excuse me, have at the end of it a question and answer period, okay? We'll be able to do that. That's why it's 90 minutes long. The class session, we'll go through the material and then we will have a question and answer period. And if there's any concerns that you would like to share with me or you need guidance or counseling, of course, I will make myself available to you at an appointed time that we can agree on. And then we will get together and uh, talk about it. And I will do my best to help you. And if I don't have the answer, uh, I will point you in a direction where you can get the answer. And uh, we want you to, to be blessed, all right? So that, that, that's what we are. That's what we're doing with the Bishop Andre S. Woods School of Wisdom. And I am so excited um, because I believe this is going to be a blessing to some of you uh, that want to take part in this. You will be able to um, share with me. I'll be able to share with you. Uh, and we'll be able to study the Word of God together and uh, understand what God's word is saying to us so that we can rightly divide the words of truth ourselves as we have the privilege and awesome opportunity to teach others. Thank you so much for this time. And we're gonna leave this up for a couple of days, but follow me on my pages, Andre Sonny Woods, and follow me on Bishop Andre S. Woods' page the Interdenominational Assembly of Churches USA Facebook page. Of course, I bounce it to Fellowship of Music and Arts as well. And so uh, right here on this personal page, you'll be able to see the information and get the information and uh, use it as you desire, okay? But again, if you want to contact me personally, if you want to... Uh, share with me, then what I want you to do is uh, email me directly 
uh, and I put that in along in the uh, uh, comment section so you can have it for yourself. And then I want you to send me that email. Then I'll have your email address, but type in there uh, that you are interested and we will respond to you as, as expeditiously as possible. I'm sure within the 24 hours when we check our emails, we will send you out a copy of this information that you can download yourself and then go through it. Now we are, we're, we're doing registration and orientations all the way to the end of the month. We're scheduled to be, begin our classes on May the 2nd. So we're going to be teaching on Mondays and Saturdays. All right. We're going to be teaching on Mondays and Saturdays. And you will get the schedule of our classes. And then, of course, if you need to make up, it's all in the brochure when you get it. If you have to miss or you need to make up a class, we'll make allowances for that. The other thing is, is this is very important. You know, if you're going to... Uh, commit to doing this and uh, you're going to sow into your own life. You're going to invest in yourself. Don't, don't, don't let nobody else cheat you. Now, husbands and wives under the same roof, children or whatever, under the same household. Hey, that, that's, that's, that's understandable. But if you got friends across town and everywhere else, listen, uh, make them invest in themselves as well. Okay, because I found out uh, people sometimes, uh, if they don't invest, they make a mess. You know, it, it's not that important to them when they don't invest themselves. So we want you to be blessed and thank you for your time. And again, uh, our email is in the comment section. You can reach us at any given point. And, and let us know you're interested and we will rush this brochure to you. Uh, follow all of our promos on the Bishop Andre S. Woods School of Wisdom. We'll be releasing a new one and we will be doing this every week up until time for our classes to begin. All right, let's pray right now. Father, I thank you for this privilege Thank you for the opportunity, God, to represent you and represent your word. I thank you for the wisdom you've imparted to me over the years. And God, I thank you for these who shall uh, ultimately become partakers of that which is wisdom from on high. Bless now, God, and let those who have an ear to hear hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. God, I pray that you continue to anoint me afresh that I might be a, a yielded vessel uh, in this day, in this hour, for such a time as this, to teach and to reach those who have a desire to grow in wisdom and in knowledge and to understand. So God, I pray your blessings upon us continually. In Jesus' name, amen. And thank God. Well, bless you. <coughs> Excuse me. And keep... Keep me in your prayers uh, as the Lord blesses. We're going to continue to do what he's called us to do. And so that we might uh, be helpers one to another in the body of Christ. And that uh, we can see the glory of the Lord. Uh, feel uh, the, the world. I mean, with his glory. We want to stamp out spiritual ignorance. We want to. We really want to do that. We want to help all of our people, uh, pastors, uh, it's traditionalism. We want to deal with it. We just want to make sure that we all speak in the same thing. Amen. And then we can march up the King's Highway together. No schisms, no ideologies, no isms, just the pure, infallible truth of the word of God. Well, this is Bishop Andre Woods saying, I love you uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I bless you. 
I thank God for you. And uh, listen, we're going to get together. We'll be back next week, probably around the same time. And we'll be doing the same thing again, just sharing information. Until then, uh, Bishop Andre Woods saying, I command the blessings of the Lord to overtake you. That is my prayer. And remember, wisdom is the principal thing. God loves you, and so do I.